to monetize your social media accounts, you need to post content that sells. But the thing is that many other people tell you that exact same thing, but they never tell you how to actually create the content that sells. In today's video, I'll show you how to get started with that. So I'm going to share my screen right now and check this out. I have this free Notion page for you that you can download down below. Find the link down below and you'll be able to download it. Anyhow, I'll assume that you already researched your audience, so I won't be spending time on that. What I want you to do is focus on these five major types of content. And we're going to start with this one specifically because it's the one that's easy to create. Let me show you. Let's click. And here you'll find the types of content that positions you as an expert. You see, in the end, the content must convey your expertise. And a lot of people need to see the actionable or the how-to content in order to understand that you know what the hell you're talking about. And here are actually the type of content that you need to post. Tips, tools, advice, creation, resources, and frameworks. These are the best how-to content that you can ever create and they generate money. But here's the thing. A lot of people don't know how to create these how-to content. So that's why I created this little system of a game of imitation. The reality is that you don't need to come up with massive ideas on content you need to create. All you have to do is go to other people's posts, see what they're talking about, see if it's getting engagement, extract the core idea of these posts and write something about that idea and tie it to your main topics or main niche or expertise. Now, make sure that you are actually knowledgeable in this idea because then you'll just be a, another scammer and you cannot be one of these scammers. You need to take a look at the ideas and make sure that they are ideas that you also agree with and that you have implemented yourself. With all that said, I'm going to give you permission to literally do this with my content. And here's how it looks. You have this kind of content, right? Let's read it. If you have a Google Drive, you're likely missing out on at least $100,000 in profit this year. So let me show you how to turn your Google Docs into profits. This is a great hook and... As you can see, it got 3,000 likes. So here's what I suggest you do. Take a look at this structure and create a hook following this same structure. For example, let's say that you are a fitness influencer. What can you do with your hook? First, find a specific tool that most people have in their houses. Then tell them that that tool can potentially help them lose X amount of pounds in the next following days or weeks or months. And then tell them how the tool can help them lose weight. Can you see how that works? Then you just go through the motions and start taking a look at my content and just follow through the same structure because it works. You could do the same thing with my captions. Take a look at my captions, repurpose them for your own content. So that way you don't have to be thinking about, okay, what's the structure of my next caption? What should I be posting about? Is this really a way to convey my idea? Is this the best way? Don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Go to my account, find my best performing post, copy the structure of the hook and copy the structure and the flow of the caption. Also, once you download this Notion template, you'll have access to another video where I show you how you can repurpose other people's content without copy and pasting. It's literally finding great performing ideas that you agree on, that you've practiced and create your own stuff and give it your own spin. For example, you have this one. Let's zoom in. If you build a great product with zero marketing, customers will not just randomly find your startup. What's the core idea of this? Simple. A lot of businesses ignore marketing. That's the core idea. So a post for this could be that if you build it, they're calm. It's a big fat lie. First, find a problem, then show people that you're creating a solution for that problem and finally sell a solution. In other words, market your project while you're still creating it or working on it and don't wait <laughs> on having it ready for launching it or at least to market it, right? So you take the original idea, you find the core idea and you create your own new post with your own way of telling ideas, right? Next, let's go to the next type of content that sells. The next one, aspirational. These are great, not only for getting followers, but getting leads, specifically these last two. The client stories or client success stories or testimonials or case studies and the personal stories. These are great for building a strong following that not only follows you for your content, but your personality and your life stories and how inspiring your story is to them. 
But the reality is that this one, the client and the student success stories are the ones that makes the money. Although they rarely get engagement. And let me show you a few examples of these aspirational content. We have lessons. Of course, this lesson, passion will keep you poor. I'm being hyperbolic there because what I realized is that a lot of people will focus on a passion that they want to monetize, but nobody wants to know about that passion. So they stay poor, right? Anyhow, I take this live lesson of mine for business and I just show it to my audience. This is great for getting engagement and getting people to at least see what you're doing. Next, this one, the stories. In this thread, I actually tell a story of how I got fired after <laughs> getting a raise and I had a six month year old baby to take care of and what I did to actually change my life forever. This post always gets me a lot of engagement and I ended with a call to action to join my newsletter and it always gets me hundreds and thousands of new email subscribers and also followers on Twitter. And finally, the case studies. As you can see, they don't get that many retweets or quote retweets or likes or shares on Instagram, but they get clients. Each of these case studies, what you need to do is tell people to DM you a specific word if they're interested in learning how to achieve similar results or if they want you to help them achieve similar results or with a call to action to book a call with you. Can you see how that works? Anyhow, continuing to the next one, competence proving tweets or posts. I learned this from my friend JK Molina. And he's always, always posting case studies, testimonials, milestones, and he's always flexing how his students are making money with his system. So in your case, start posting more testimonials and more case studies. For example, I have, I follow Bami on Instagram, and this is one of my favorite all time case studies. And as you can see here, what he's doing is mostly telling a story of Tamika. And if you go through it, He's not showing everything she did to make $70,000 in sales in four months. What he is doing is telling the story of what he helped Tanika realize, do, and achieve. So with your case study, you don't need to show people exactly how to do things, but what you told the person to do in order to achieve success. In copywriting, we say, don't show the how, show the what. Anyhow, let's go back to our Notion page. Once you get access to this Notion page, you can always click on these examples, at least the ones that are not image, and you'll be taking exactly to the post. And by the way, one of the, my favorite posts are the flexing posts. My friend Alice Feinberg is always posting about how he got lean and stronger even as he aged. So it's a great way to flex by showcasing how his system not only has helped him look lean and strong, but also his clients. Anyhow. Let's go to the next one, shit posting. A lot of people avoid shit posting because yeah, it can get you in trouble, but these posts are fun and make people laugh and it makes them feel like, okay, he's one of the guys. Okay, he's one of us. So you want to be posting shit posting. Now, really, don't be stupid about <laughs> what you're posting because you don't want to get canceled. And a great way to shit post is just, just go to your online friends posts and make fun of what they're posting. For example, you have this post from Dakota. It's always broke people telling me how I should or shouldn't spend my money. Funny. Then Aaron, it's always replying with shit posting. You should spend it on me and take me to dinner. He's always posting these things and it's always fun to read his replies. So just take a look at these shit posting that I've posted in the past and make sure to also post these things because they prove your humanity. And finally, let's go to the last one, sales. Look, if you want to make money with social media, you need to get comfortable with sales. In other words, you need to get comfortable with promoting your stuff and letting people know that you can solve their problems and you can do this with the sales posts. Now, if you're on Twitter, it's literally just putting a link to your Calendly link or to your newsletter and tell people to subscribe or to book a call with you and that you'll help them fix a specific problem. On Instagram, on the other hand, you could do this in the caption or in the stories. With all that said, let's go to the sales posts and give you a few examples. What I like doing is posting a hand raiser and a hand raiser is nothing more than telling people, hey, reply to this post or DM me a specific keyword and I'll send you access to this or that, or you'll be able to book a call with me. Hand raisers are great to getting inbound leads. And here you have a bunch of hand raiser templates and examples of call to actions to telling people to check out something, to click here, to DM you a specific word. Like for example, this one, if you actually DM me the word free on Instagram, 
you'll get access to that free course on how to grow your Instagram account. Or like this one, if you DM me the word profit, this is not working by the way, but if you DM me the word profit back then when I had this automation done, you will actually get a few questions and a link to book a call with me. So take a look at these examples and start posting these contents. And also make sure to download this free guide that I created for you. And here you'll find this exact same training I just gave you, the content that sells. You'll find how to engage and sell in the direct messages, how to sell on the phone or in Zoom, how to start a newsletter as a bonus, a few videos on that, and then how to take this to the next level. And of course, all of the resources. And it's 100% free. All you have to do is go down below and download this beautiful training that I created for you for 100% free. So again, my name is Jose Rosado. Thank you so much for you. watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment asking me any questions that you might have about monetizing and increasing your income with social media. Talk to you soon.